Alright, I'm back, and last time when we left off, I had split the model into pieces. You can see by those um, UV seams there that uh, it's split into some very recognizable pieces. Um, from this point on, I'm just going to be unwrapping it, and uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. First, I go to point to point seam, and from there, I just start off one point, preferably especially with the body, the middlemost point, or wherever I want the seam to be because you have pretty much full control over this. So I start from the top, staying along the middle edge, I click somewhere in between the legs. It's kind of hard to do on this model because the inner edges are so close to each other, but uh, once you get that done, just keep clicking around and getting the hang of this tool is not hard at all. It's very simple to use. So with that, you have some UV seams already made out so well not UV seams some pelt seams and what's going to happen is when you use the pelt unwrap method it's going to split apart on those seams so we go back and select smoothing group 1 and go to the pelt unwrap and there you go now that as it is right there you know it's decent but not great so what we're going to do is relax it um, but the way I like relaxing is um, going to the dialog box, actually opening that up, and changing the method to face angles, and then just pressing start relax. And it's just going to keep continuously relaxing until you tell it to stop. And I like doing this because it pretty much spreads the UVs out to where the texture won't distort as much, because that's a big problem when you unwrap UVs. That's something you got to take care of, you know don't let the texture distort so much so once you get something that you're somewhat satisfied with just uh, click stop I'm not sure when I click stop hopefully it's in the yep there we go so click stop and from this point like I said before I only want to use half of this model uh, and I'm gonna split it in half using a very very easy method first off um, go out of the editor, well not out of the editor, but go back into the viewport and go to edge mode. With that select the middlemost edge and if you model this in quads like a good person it'll just loop all the way around. Now you'll see in here that it selected edges that I don't really want to break apart so I deselected select element and unselected these edges. Pretty much just held alt and dragged. So now I'm going to break this apart. I press control B, but just in case you don't know where it is, just go up to tools and there you go. You got break. So now that that's broken, I'm going to go back to select element and then face mode and then just split that apart. So I don't want that side. I want to keep the other side. I'm just going to keep this over here in no man's land. And um, I'm just going to keep doing the same method throughout the rest of the body. And the reason I haven't, like... I've, I've experimented with with this before, and um, one method I've seen used before is uh, they only unwrapped half the model and like literally just don't even make another half of it. I tried this method, but I get a really nasty seam down the middle because uh, what's happening is when you bake normals, the normals are baked, the high poly's normals are baked on top of the low poly's normals. So you're essentially going to get that seam there because there's no smooth transition onto another part of the polygon so I just un I just keep a full model and then unwrap half of it the way I like for best results and when that way when I go back and use the symmetry modifier everything looks right so as you can see I'm just using the same method I did for the body down the arm and it works really well um, I think the pelts and the continuous relaxed features are the best thing for unwrapping UVs like ever in the history of 3D Studio Max. If you have other programs out there, um, I honestly can't tell you how to unwrap with those, but this tutorial will probably work with any program where you can unwrap and modify meshes. But uh, since I'm most familiar with 3D Studio Max, I'm showing you in this. Now with the hand, it gets a little bit tricky, but it's still relatively easy. Um, I want to split the hand in half on by its pinky. So I'm just going to start creating a seam by the thumb. And 
got to be careful with this tool because like even though it's easy to use it doesn't read your mind so let's I can't just click from one point from one side of the hand to the other side of the hand because it's going to take the shortest route to get there so you pretty much have to direct it there but once you get through this little treacherous path it's uh, smooth sailing from there and uh, I'm surprised I didn't do it there to be honest with you let's see I know I messed up one time, but it's one of the huge deal. Control Z fixes everything. <laughs> and there we have it. So, oh, there we go. Messed that up. So just Control Z that out. And go all the way to the edge of the pinky. And you, if you've been following along, you can pretty much predict how this is going to look like when I, um, when I use the pelt modifier on it. So going back to my smoothing groups, selecting that, and pelting. There we go. But naturally, that's not good enough because you're going to get major distortions. So relax them, face angles, and start relax. The reason I use face angles is um, it just seems to give me the results that I like. Edge angles that seems to get kind of weird. And it takes a lot long for me anyway. It seems to take a lot longer to stop. And center angles is just a devil. I I not a hundred percent sure what that's good for. I guess it's good for holes, but you got to make sure the boundary seems locked. So um, that's it for this video.